Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunere Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunere Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, March the 8th. I want to introduce you to Catherine O'Hagan, who is with us from Columbia Foster and Adoption Project. Welcome back to Radio Friends, Good morning. Catherine. Thank you for having me. Um, before we get into that basket you've got there, tell us a little bit about uh, what Columbia Foster and Adoption Project is. Yeah, so Columbia Foster Adoption Project, we work with foster parents as well as um, kiddos here in mid-Missouri um, as they navigate the foster adoption process. So we do three main projects. We do our I Belong Baskets, which I'll talk about today, our back-to-school picnic, um, and we do the giving tree every okay. Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Now, you've got the basket. It's a laundry basket, and yep. it's chock full of goodies. All the stuff. It's the yeah. I Belong Basket. That's right. So every time a kiddo comes into care, um, we try to get them connected to a basket. It's both for them, so comfort items like a little teddy bear, um, but then also for the parents. So there's diapers, wipes, bottles, um, everything that a new foster parent might need. This one's for an infant. So if they come into care with nothing, and I've had a kiddo come with a backpack that had Supplies enough for two bottles and two onesies. One of them didn't fit. And so this was just so helpful to make sure that that kiddo had everything. So you're saying some of the foster kids that come in have nothing? Nothing. and No clothes? Sometimes they might come with things that you don't want them to come with. So like the clothes that come with them are maybe not clean. They don't fit them. Mm. And especially for infants, and that's why I brought this one, like... They have um, blankets in here for them, um, bottles and, you know, pacifiers, diapers, everything until you can get yourself, you know, over to a store. You might not also know the size of this kiddo. You know, you might not know any of their specific needs. So this is supposed to be like that, that go between. So are you asking people to donate uh, items for the basket? So on our Facebook, um, we have our Amazon wish list right now. It's up. So I'm showing an infant basket, but we've got, I only have one basket left for a kiddo between age one and three right now. Okay. And so we put all our supplies on our wish list and we ask folks to- You only got to one basket left? One right now. So <laughs> for people listening or watching, please help them replenish the basket. They only have one right now. <laughs> And you need a bunch for of that them. age. We for have that age. we okay. have some for you know kids of other ages, and so we'll kind of pull. Okay. And so what's the website address? Comoadoption dot um, com, and then also our Facebook, which is Columbia Foster and Adoption Project. Okay, so go. You can go to Comoadoption dot com, uh, or on Facebook. Yep. It is Columbia Foster and Adoption Project. That's right. That's it. Yep. And if you Google that. It's right there. You'll get it also. And Absolutely. you can make a donation. You can find out uh, if you would like to be a part of it and donate not just financially, but donate your heart and Absolutely. time. Absolutely. All right. Catherine, thank you so much for coming thank by. You. And please come back again. I really appreciate it. Thank right. you. Okay. Now we're going to talk a little bit about show business. And I want to introduce you to Rob Krause, another one of my friends from Capital City Production. Good to have you here, Rob. Oh, it's good to be here, Paul. Always good to be yeah, here. Yeah, now you've got, there's a lot of things coming up uh, this summer with Capital City Production. And hopefully, hopefully uh, things are going to be turning around health-wise for a lot of people will feel a, a little bit better about getting out and about. I know. We, as as we've talked about before, we have a lot of health protocols, and a lot of people are secure coming to our theater because we're able to do a lot of things that most theaters aren't able to do. But I think as more people get vaccinated, they'll get more comfortable. And I mean, we're seeing local theaters like Columbia Entertainment Company just did something. So we're beginning to see local theaters open up. Yeah. Uh, so, th so that's good. But So what have you got? What is on the horizon for this spring and summer. We have some wonderful things coming. Uh, April, we've got Freaky Friday, which is a new musical that is based 
on the original movie about the mom and the the daughter that switch places. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's a new musical, and that's going to be very exciting. Then in May, we have, for everybody that has seen Rent, uh, we're doing Jonathan Larson's other musical that's never done called Tick, Tick, Boom, that is actually autobiographical about his creative process of trying to break out as a composer and write rent and get it produced and and all of that so it's a story about writing a story or a play yes uh, the what artists go through uh the the poverty and frustrations yeah. and everything they go through new artists to try to break through so it's it's a fascinating is there is there a lot of music in it oh yeah yeah would you call it's, it a big musical uh, no it's a small musical it's only several people but it's it's uh what we are spots on the artists series that we do in between our big musicals, our smaller shows. Okay. And so then we've just announced uh, our August show that we're very excited about uh, because we thought we were getting something new we were waiting on, but with COVID, they've cut out all of that. So we're doing Oliver, okay. which we've never done. So we're excited to do uh, Oliver. Uh, now, how will Oliver play in your new theater? It should be fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it will be great. Um, I left out July, which is a something you and I have talked about before that got canceled because of the COVID. But we are now able to bring Harry Truman's grandson in in July, Clifton Daniel, to do Give Him Hell Harry. Wow. So uh, he'll come in and do his one-man show. So uh, great to have Truman for patriotism in July. Uh, so that, that will be Now this is Harry's, uh, Harry Truman's? Great grandson? No, his grandson, Clifton Daniel. His grandson. Yeah, you know he had one daughter, Margaret. Right. This right. is her son, Clifton, and he has traveled all over the country doing this one man show. How old till is COVID. he? Well, how old is he? I don't know, uh, but he. I mean, I saw video of him doing the show in Memphis. Uh, and he does a phenomenal job. That's great. So that that will be terrific, too. So, I mean, we have a fantastic lineup. I'm going to be directing Oliver. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'm sure you are, Rob. And and we're, we're excited for you. I hope I wish you the very best of luck with the spring right. and summer season. If people want more information, they can go online to ccpjc at org. Dot org. Dot org. Okay. Absolutely. CCPJC.org, Capital City Productions. Thank you so much, Rob Krause, hey, for coming by. And break a leg, you. okay? Thank you. Out of time for today. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.